I'm out on the Cow Creek grasslands of New Haven Wildlife Sanctuary. This warren was once home to the Burring Betong. Unfortunately, ever since the arrival of Europeans to Australia, this species has seen a steady decline due to predation from feral animals like cats and foxes. Competition for food and shelter from cattle and rabbits and also changes to fire patterns. So from nice, cool, patchy mosaic burns to large, destructive wildfires. All of these factors led to the species extinction on mainland Australia in the mid 20th century. Now a big part of our operations program at New Haven is feral animal control. We focus on cats, foxes, camels and rabbits. But today I want to talk about rabbit control and how staff at New Haven over the past 15 years have managed this species that now has led us to an historic moment happening next month with the reintroduction of the burrowing betong into Central Australia. Rabbits at New Haven predominantly inhabit these remnant burrowing betong warrens in Cow Creek grasslands and Chipsom Lake edges. Our goal with all feral herbivores in New Haven is that the threat should be stabilised or reduced so that the impacts on plant and animal populations are not ecologically significant. To achieve this goal, our management focuses on controlling and where possible, eradicating. Using data gained from aerial and on-ground surveys, warrens were identified that could potentially harbour rabbits. 13 sites were established across New Haven as long-term rabbit abundance monitoring sites. These plots are then systematically searched to record every rabbit warren within the plot. Each year, this survey is carried out to produce a rabbit density at each site. Although rabbits don't have the damaging impact that cats and foxes do, they take over crucial habitat, reduce ground cover, exposing ground-dwelling animals to elevated levels of predation. They reduce the abundance of palatable plant species and increase the spread of weeds. High rabbit populations also support high numbers of feral predators. Rabbit management outside the fence has been continually monitored for the past 15 years with our annual density surveys and follow-up control methods. Most recently, releasing the Khaleesi virus at three of our monitoring sites where numbers were above our density limits of 0.5 rabbit per hectare. There are a number of factors at play that limited the rabbit control methods that could be used at New Haven. Firstly, these old burrowing beton warrens needed to be maintained Therefore, any control methods that cause warren destruction are not appropriate, such as ripping or using explosives. With these options unavailable, the most viable control method to use was 1080 baiting and follow up with shooting and trapping. 15 years of surveying and controlling rabbit numbers led us to our most significant challenge yet, eradication of rabbits from stage one, our feral free fenced area. Our approach to achieve eradication in stage one was to use 1080 baiting time to coincide with the low rainfall winter period when normal feed was reduced and rabbits would be more likely to consume bait. During the summer of 2017 and 18, New Haven received low rainfall. This significantly reduced available feed for rabbits. This coupled with high temperatures, rabbit numbers were declining and the remaining rabbits were considerably stressed. This combined with a dry winter created the perfect conditions for baiting, which led to the success of eradication of rabbits in stage one in 2018. Successful reintroduction of the burrowing betong at New Haven would see the species no longer listed as extinct in Central Australia. These animals, by turning over enormous amounts of soil in their foraging and burrowing, will be returning a function to the landscape that reduces water runoff promotes nutrient retention and plant germination and provides thermal shelter for many other species. These little dudes will be playing such an important role in restoring the health of this special bit of country. Not only ecologically important, but the Burring Betong holds cultural significance to the Nalia Walpuri and Lurichur people, who are the traditional owners of New Haven and the surrounding central desert area. Now to be able to sit at one of these warrens, inside stage one, knowing it's free of feral animals is pretty special. And a big thank you must go out to everybody who's been involved in the growth of New Haven over the years. From staff, to volunteers, to ranger groups and supporters. If it wasn't for this passionate group of people, 
we wouldn't be able to take on ambitious tasks like the reintroduction of the burrowing better.